Hey there, cosplayers. You're Zella and Melly checking in with you, wanting to share um, the latest craziness that's going on with our wig collection. It has absolutely exploded, thanks in part to a warehouse sale at Epic Cosplay, and we've just been buying a lot lately because we had a lot on our docket, so it's like, okay, let's cross these off. <laughs> pretty much. So, um, pretty much everything you see here is going to be from Epic Cosplay. Um, they're, I think, our favorites for the most part now. We can pretty safely say that. It helps that I can go will call because they're here local to us. Um, but their customer service is amazing. They always take care of you, and so we are definitely loyal to them and really love promoting them. Um, I believe you can look for us promoting them at Anime Expo on Friday. So look for us outside. Come stop by, say hi. We'll actually be wearing these wigs because these are for our My Little Pony cosplays. We'll be doing Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash for Friday of Anime Expo. Um, so without further ado, here's some really cool wigs. Okay, so first thing I want to show you is something we've been working very, very hard on. It is Sailor Mini Moon! <laughs> um, so this is actually Epic Cosplay's Hestia in Princess Pink. And um, and then the ponytails as well. What I did is... You'll have to find out. Um, there's going to be a video about how we styled this and how exactly I added. Because I did go through and add in a full part. Um, so look for that video. <laughs> I'm not going to give away any secrets on this one. Um, and just to give you a taste of what you'll see there... Ta-da! Beautifulness. Um, thanks to Melanie for tons of help. So, um, yeah, look for the video. How style Sailor Mini Moon. It's awesome. Time-consuming, but totally pays off. And so next, on the list of stuff to show you, we have a lot of stuff, actually, really. Um, so obviously the ones we're wearing. This is another Hestia from Epic Cosplay. And we actually found that one in the discount bin um, at, at WonderCon. Con. It was just fate. It's always a good time to look through the discount bins as soon as you get there because you never know what you're going to find, what you might need. And always check every day because sometimes they change their stock. Um, okay, this one's... Sorry, we're unorganized. Um, this is my ponytail for Sumomo. I've already cut off a lot of length, actually. This is the long straight ponytail from Arda. There are not a lot of options as far as ponytails go. You can either have long straight um, or curly. I think that's it, really, yeah. actually. Um, so, since Sumomo's hair is a barrel curl and not like these kind of curls, then I didn't want to get a curly ponytail and have to recurl the whole thing. So, we got straight so we could curl it. Um, we actually have really bad luck with this one. I managed to get that much of a curl in this entire thing. We've tried to curl it um, five times using all different methods, all of which you can find on artist tutorials or Epic Cosplays tutorials. And um, when we contacted the company, their customer service was not so great. So, so um, we're not saying don't buy from them because their wigs are very nice. Um, but I guess it's just something to keep in mind if you have to deal with them. Keep a positive attitude, um, even though it's going to be really hard to do. It may take a while to get what you want. <laughs> and um, <laughs> be prepared to put in some work, because obviously, I don't know. Maybe maybe don't buy them if you have to do a lot of styling. I, I don't really know what to say. But they do have beautiful multicolor wigs. Um, and they're the place to go if you want multicolor, for sure. And they have some really neat colors that they carry in their line anyways. So, still check them out. Just something to keep in mind. We're just one of many experiences. I'm sure there's a million out there that are good for our one bad. But we had to share it with you. Um, okay, so next. Alrighty, so next is... This gorgeous purple, which is actually hard to see because of the black backlight. I apologize. Pretty purple. Um, it's another Hestia because apparently we're obsessed with this one style. Because and length. Style and length. 
I don't know. Look at it. It's gorgeous. And it comes in a lot of awesome colors. This is Lux Purple. This is going to be a rarity someday. And Anthe also. Um, so there's that. It's really pretty. I'm not going to take it out of the hairnet, though, because I'm wearing it. So there you go. That was epic. Um, which style is this? Let me see. It is the Thea. Okay. This is Thea in, um, copper red. Copper. Yes. In, in copper red. Thea in copper red. There we go. We really are disorganized. It's the week before a con. Um, this will be a special project. I can't say what, but... It's really hard to tell from the camera, but the coloring is amazing. It's natural and warm, and um, the part on it is stunning. Such great tones to it. And, and the length is just great for what we're trying to do. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So, um, more epic cosplay right there. Sorry, I only have one hand to work with. This is actually a really heavy chibi wig. Look at this one is Athena. It is quite long, actually. Um, I believe it's 42 inches. 40 inches, sorry. 40 inches. This is in black. Um, I can tell you what this is because I'm kind of excited, but I don't know when it's going to happen. This is my Princess Jasmine wig. So, one day... I already have all the fabric, too, so one day it's actually going to happen, and there will be a jasmine. And, um, I actually tried it on. It's stunning. It's really easy to untangle. Um, I'm not going to take it out right now. I'm so afraid of getting it tangled, even though it's easy to untangle. I don't know. Wig drama. And this was, like, the coolest wig, and I'll take it out so I can show you. We got this in the discount bin at the warehouse sale. So, I believe it was $10, and always worth it. If you find a wig for $10, even if you don't know what it's for, which we have no idea what we this just, is like, for. like, wearing wigs, though, so... Yeah, I wear wigs on the weekend, um, because I have short hair and I can. Um, but look at this. Such bouncy little curls, and it's got this cute little bang, and it's super cute. I know it's hard to see because it's dark, I'm sorry. Um, and this is in black, and I have no idea what it is for at all, but... It's really cute, and I can actually wear it to work, so, and I'm weird like that and would wear a wig to work when I don't feel like doing my hair. It happened when I didn't feel like wearing, doing my hair to go out one night, so, um, yeah. Have you ever seen she me? didn't wear a natural colored wig either. No, I wore hot pink. It, it was this is, this is raspberry. I, I, this is raspberry epic cosplay, which is kind of like a soft pink. I wore, like, hot Barbie pink. You can actually see it in the background. Oh, this way. <laughs> right there. Right there. I wore <laughs> that out. Um, note to self, if you wear wigs out on the town, you might get dirty looks from parents. Yeah. Even though you're dressed completely appropriately. So, who knew? Um, and last but certainly not least, actually, we're not even last but no. least. We still have a bunch <laughs> to show you. Um, this is another discount wig that we got from Epic Cosplay. We actually both got one, so we can totally twinsy it up. Um, because Why super not? cute, like, oh my gosh, super cute, look at that. The movement it's playful. Is wonderful. This is one sassy mannequin. Anyways, next wig. Woo. We're gonna edit this video. Let's see. So, this is totally a short wig. This is the Hermes in Natural Blonde. Ta-da! It looks like boy hair because that's what it's supposed to be. Um, and this goes up right here, and it's actually very full right here. But you can tame it down to just look normal and not puffy. I don't know. It's kind of puffy. It's a spikeable wig, so you know. So you it actually has a layers it has there. a very full. It's not really the crown. It's just a very full top for spiking. The sides are still not really meant for spiking. Just so you know, keep it in mind. So, there's that. We have... We also found this in the discount bin. Yeah, another discount bin. No idea what wig. it is, but it kind of looks like the Thea. A little bit. It Sort of, yeah. It's like the Thea with no bangs. Yeah. 
Um, so there you go. It's just pretty. We don't even know what kind of what color blonde this is considered. It's not natural blonde. Um, it's almost the butterscotch blonde or the ash blonde, but it's epic cosplay. Just another one of their discount wigs. I wear a lot of blonde, and I am blonde right now, but don't know how long that'll last. So you know, good to get something that's the color that you need. So something we found out while she digs out the last wig mm -hmm. is um, a lot of our cosplays have similar hair. If you can reuse your wigs instead of styling one to be that one character for forever, totally worth it. Like, this could be somebody else. I don't know who, but it could be. Like, Princess Bubblegum. You know, it could happen. Um, or her blonde wig can be, like, any numerous amount of characters. Or the one you see right behind us, which is actually a five-foot wig. It is 60 inches in natural blonde. Um, it is... I don't remember what the style name is. It's the longest wig Epic Cosplay makes. Um, it's absolutely stunning and was super easy. We actually detangled it and then put it into the braid. But think about it. So time would be less than two. That's um, Chi, but it's also Rapunzel. Yeah. Check that out. Um, so totally worth um, taking the time to look at your list and see if you can you know, do more than one uh, wig for more than one cosplay. One wig for more than one cosplay. There we go. Um, because it just saves you money in the end. Um, because we have the most expensive hobby that we could possibly think of. So, like, why spend extra money? So, there's all our neat things to show you. And the last thing I'm going to show you is... Dun, dun, dun. We actually switched to the fishnet, which is hard to see. Um, fishnet wig caps. These are really, really, really comfortable. Really, really, really comfortable. You can't even tell that you're wearing one. And um, they go. breathe super nicely. And um, aside from that, it, I don't know. It's just, it's it's a lot more comfortable to wear just all in all. It's easier to put on because they're not as skin tight. But they and, do the job of keeping your hair down and making it smooth so nicely. I mean, my hair's really puffy underneath this, so... It's awesome. And look at it. It was hiding all of her hair really, really well. So, um, that's the end of it. This is the end of our wig video. It was long and drawn out, and we babbled on a lot because I worked 12 hours today, so we're tired. Um, but thanks for stopping by. We hope to do at least one more video before AX talking about it and giving you some preview. And, of course, look for our con vlogs. Uh, mm -hmm. We will do our best. AX is really, really busy for us. Um, look for our schedule on Facebook and Tumblr. And until then, happy cosplaying. Bye.